I had so much fun filming this video. I brought Kenny along to secretly film me test driving Mustang GTs because Vivian and I are looking for one and it gets very interesting. I could not stop laughing while editing this video. So I hope you enjoy. Do you think they're getting a little nervous that we've been gone this long now? I think they're sweating bullets at their desks. Like, where are those kids? Where are they? We bring it back. And it's all beat up. <laughs> like he goes through his bedroom. <laughs> you let them what? <laughs> I'm gonna test drive a bunch of them. We're on our way to test drive our first Mustang right now. Yeah, there's no way I'm buying a car from this place, but we're gonna go beat on it. So you want to turn the camera off? Uh, yeah, turn it off. Turn it back on when we're in the car. Bye, guys. God. Look at that, they have an SI and an SDI too. Just test drive all the cars. What's that? We should test drive all the cars and beat the shit out of them. <laughs> okay, so aftermarket exhaust, which is not good. You can start filming, I'll tell you when to stop. I'm already filming. Oh, you are? Oh, wait. I feel like bring yeah, it down so here. It smells a little weird. So it has an aftermarket exhaust, aftermarket shift knob, so it's probably uh, probably been owned by an enthusiast at one point. It's gonna be a tight squeeze back there for my fat ass. What do we do now? Ooh, what the fuck is this? That's terrible. Yeah. You know, these kind of cars are like for very specific people. You know? Yeah. I believe we got it from an auction. Auction, okay. Yeah. All right. We had a blue one prior to this, and uh, that one had a hundred and some thousand miles on it. We were sold for 21.9. Okay. I had a C5 Corvette. Oh, nice. Those are bringing back memories. <laughs> Is that one a sticker or an auto? Uh, this white one, I honestly don't know, man. We just got it. Okay. Like, literally, we got it yesterday. So at this point in the process, I was definitely aware that uh, this car had been beat to hell. Four owners, it's only a 2012, and it only has like 46,000 miles. So it's been passed around a lot in a short amount of time. I immediately noticed a lot of sketchy things about the car, and uh, I, I, was, I was definitely not going to buy this, especially because they were firm on the price of like 22 grand, which is just, yeah, that's, it's disgusting. On to the second test drive. Dangle, dangle, dangle. Okay. And here we have a Ford Focus, right camera? So it's a 2015 pair. Oh. 2015 GT performance package, convertible, 91,000 miles. Holy shit. They only want 20,000 20, for it, which uh, is a much better price than the other thing. Yeah. Still not something I would buy though. I mean, one, because it's convertible. Two, because of the miles. Those are pretty much the only reasons. I would lower that. Why? It's not illegal. Dude, 
people do not know how to take care of their paint. It's squirrels everywhere. I do like that hood though, that hood. I wonder if those are uh, functional heat extraction vents. I don't know. Maybe? I think I can they see look a little, They look a little uh, gunky. Yep. That seems to work. Yeah, we should start a YouTube channel where we do social experiments, but it's like uh, centered around cars. And we constantly are going to car dealerships and fucking with people. Let's do it right now. Like we can put mustaches on and then just go test drive cars and tell people like, like lowball the shit. There's just like really uncomfortable content, but people are just like can't stop watching. You know what I mean? Like that yeah. sort of stuff. And we can beat, we can also like beat the shit out of them. Yes. There's a guy to our five o'clock. This is a cool color, man. There's a guy to our, your, your nine o'clock now. Okay. Yeah, looks are you like coming over here? I don't know. Yeah, I'm looking for, uh, my girlfriend and I are looking to buy a Mustang GT. We drove a 2012 and it's kind of a file. Mm -hmm. um, this one looks pretty clean. So I'd be interested in this. Okay. Uh, you, wanna, you wanna drive it? Yeah, I'd like to. See how, uh, see how the brakes feel and the wheel bearings and all that type of stuff. What? I, sh I should go drive it up there. Oh, and the thing over there? Should I? Just fucking do it, bro. No, I don't do that. No, nah, it, 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 it could be like an insurance liability if I do that. I don't want to fuck with them like Dude, that. You're such a pansy. This guy's this guy's, this guy's actually seems like a nice guy. Yeah. Dude, I cannot believe they're letting us drive this with no one coming with us. No supervision. <laughs> no freaking parents, dude. No parents. Hell yeah. See if I can get it to move without the giving it gas. Ooh, look at that. Do you see that back of your camera? Look at that. Oh, it's that's weird. It's all what is that? This is a pretty nice car though. I do like this. This is cool. What the heck? What is going on with that? the corn. Oh wow. Wow, this feels nice. Oh, that shifter is amazing. That's super tight. Brakes feel good. That clutch is still heavy. I think it must just be a Mustang thing at this point. Yeah. Well, this is only the second one I've driven, so I can't really tell yet. Dude, this feels... <laughs> this is cool. I should like this, man. <laughs> Wanna try that again? <laughs> I actually like this, man. Look at all the guns, man. Jeez. Oh, traction? Off. This already feels better than that 2012 we drove. 2012 felt like a boat. This feels... Actually, I didn't check to see if that one had different modes or not, though. If that one had a sport mode, then this is kind of a little... This is a little unfair. But... AC started blowing cold immediately. I can't believe that guy just let two 20-something year olds. I'm gonna give it to him. It's not that fast, dude. That does not impress me. What do you think about that? Uh, I don't know. It feels good, but...
dude, I was really thinking these 5.0s would be quicker, but this does not. This does not impress me. What's not impressive about it? Like this, the, the, acceleration? the acceleration? The acceleration, yeah. Okay. They could be using shitty gas, which would make a small difference. That shifter does feel nice. I do like the shifter. But just the fact that there's something weird with the suspension's bouncing around, it's like vibrating. That's a complete... It just feels like it's gonna fall apart. That's, these clutches don't feel right though. There's something weird with them because I... Maybe it's think, just a Ford thing. Do you think they're made a specific way for like... Like they're... Are they like just heavier? Like it's really longer, heavy. Like longer travel maybe? Too? No, not too far of a travel. Why was it like that on the highway? The other Mustang wasn't like that when we got up to speed, was it? Or maybe I, I just didn't notice? Was it like wobbly like that? It felt a little clunky like in the back. The rear suspension just felt really clunky. I heard it too when we were pulling out on this one. On this one too? Yeah, the, just the suspension. Just If you're going over bumps and stuff, just kind of listen. You'll hear like, you know, clinks and clacks. And we have rattles. air conditioned seats. Let's try that out. Oh, dude, it's blowing air up my butt. That is cool. Wait, this is actually, dude, it's actually blowing air up my butt. That is really cool. Okay, let's try, oh, track mode. Oh, shit. Let's try track mode. Bro, this is actually blowing air into my butt. Yeah, it's blowing air into my gooch. What an amazing thing this is. This is a great car. Dude, that, it, well, it, it makes me feel like I'm sweating more though. Like it makes me feel wet. It makes me feel excited. Yeah, that's what I just said. It makes me feel wet. Do you think they're getting a little nervous that we've been gone this long now? It's been like 10 minutes. You think they're sweating bullets at their desks? Like, where are those kids? Where are they? We bring it back and it's all beat <laughs> up. Like he goes to his manager. <laughs> You let them what? <laughs> Try to merge. Oh! Oh my god! This does not feel that fast. What the fuck? What the freaking ass, dude? There's no Chevrolet. We should go drive a Camaro. Let's just drop this off at another dealership. <laughs> and just go drive. Just keep going back and forth. Drop it off at a dealership and ask them uh, how much they'll give it. Yeah, right. How much they'll give us for it? How much you'll give it? Hey. How much would you give this? Hey. <laughs> hey, what do you want to give it? Hey, I'm going to drift right here. I'm gonna do burnout and drift. Should I do like a first gear pull? Hold on, hold on a second. Made a Mazda. Made a Mazda. Hey, what are you made of? I uh, made a Mazda. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me laughing like that because I have gaps in my fucking teeth. This feels like a boat. It feels similar to Vivian's Challenger. Look at your navigation. Can you tell me? Yes. Oh, that's much easier to see. Ooh, dude, we should go test our the WRX. Yeah, yeah. Did you say That's that faster good. than what you just did? You know what I can't, you know, I cannot believe about this, about this car. What? That is blowing cool air into my ass. <laughs> That's pretty cool, right? Or is it not cool? No, it's pretty it's cool. Not it's, not, it's, it's not hot, it's definitely cool. Maybe the meter's not on. That sounds so clunky, bro. That sounds so rough. I think that may have been an exhaust pop, actually. Oh, yeah, it's transmission. Just... Sell me a car that's gonna kill me on the fucking highway. Do you smell that? I should probably turn those uh, seat blowers off. <laughs> that's probably. <laughs> it's not that, dude. It smells like someone's burning. Yeah, exactly. My ass. <laughs> that acceleration got me so excited, my ass all blew out. <laughs> if he asks about uh, how long we've been gone, just say we got stuck because of an accident off one of the exits. We got, we got in an accident. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. We got in an accident. <laughs> no, I don't want to fuck with this guy. This, this guy's he's a nice guy. He's got a big belly too. Means he's an extra nice guy. That yeah, means he's got. That's where all his nice. More nice. That's where all of his nicest is. Just say we T-bone someone. <laughs> Let's do a third gear pull. Pull it. I'm at fifty. That's kind of low. This is slow, man. I understand you have to rev these out, but I feel like my car is faster than this. I, dude, I really think your car might be faster than this. I don't know, dude. They might have bad gas or. 
What the? I Does gas know. really make that much of a difference? Yeah, it's a huge difference. 87 to 91 is a big difference. Oh, I just don't know. Like ha having driven Mustangs now, I don't know. If, I don't know if I want to get Vivian one of these. It feels okay. It feels after a while of driving it, it feels like it's just gonna fall apart. Like I don't like all the sound and shit coming from it. Yeah. It just seems like it's it's falling apart. I mean, I drive my car and there's no funky sounds. That's because it's a Honda, bro. This is an actual American-made sports car. It's a muscle car. It's fast. It's sexy. It's a mask? piece of yeah. shit. Green bullshit. I gave Alaska. Okay, you can turn that off. Now. Just say it's a piece of shit. You don't like it. All right, that's all I got for today. I obviously did not buy either of those cars. Vivian and I actually test drove a 2016 yesterday and uh, I'll, I'll have that included in a future vlog. But next video is going to be about my Civic. This is the fourth video in a row that has not included my car. So yeah, <laughs> next video will be the PR intercooler install and first impressions. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.